Hello oh, lovely breakers, and I'm sorry I have to do it like this again. I hate doing it like this, but sometimes this happens with my model where I can't use it for videos. So, starting this episode off, there's a little uh, short video of where Mimi's, not video, clip of the video where Mimi's having a party in America. This is basically just them hinting that Mimi's going to be in the episode and then we get Izzy walking back and forth talking to herself about Kari going to the digital slash dark ocean world with all her digivice and he says Kari there must be something special about Kari Izzy you know this you know there's something special about Kari because when she was possessed by the digital being, she literally was possessed and you knew that. So, what are you talking about? There must be. You know there's something special about Kari. That she isn't like a nor. She's got a stronger connection to the digital world than most. You know this. Shut the fuck up. You're supposed to be smart. Now, after that. TK and everyone are starting to get hungry. TK points out a restaurant. And one doing so, they are talking. TK says, there's something strange about this restaurant that he can't put his finger on. And who else shows up when it's time to pay? Digitomama. Now, the thing is, Digitomama is actually a gay guy now. And he even repent says he's repented but of course spoiler alerts later on in the show he gets well he kind of gets beaten by gorilla mon because he protects the kids and he gets taken over by a dark spiral yeah dark spiral now but before all that happens mimi shows up with what's his damn name I think it's Tom, I want to say. I don't remember. But he's one of the international Digi Destin. And he has Betamon. Now, I really love this because Betamon doesn't show up in the anime no more after Zero Two. Now, I say that because he doesn't. Like, he, show up, he shows up in the games and stuff, but Betamon kind of gets the low down. And for Digimon, same with Tyranomon. You know that Tyranomon kind of shows up in the anime way more than Betamon has. And it's just sad because it's nice to see Betamon, you know? But other seasons he never shows up in. Now they all sit down and start talking about what happened in the past. And to be honest, I forgot Cody and Davis were in the original anime. Not original anime, but in Zero One. And I think it's because I just didn't really recognize them. But when they when the guy, the international vision Dustin says that his happened around when uh, Mimi and the rest of them were fighting Miyosemon uh, Davis and Cody started remembering what happened when they were ca were captured and stuff or in Cody's case had an emergency land and Davis says he remembers being there with Bakumon no Davis not Bakumon Bakimon well, I'm gonna say this every time someone calls them Bakumon because that's not their name. Same with the Nimi Mon. Now, remember how in a later, no, the very first episode of this Why Digimon Why, I said I don't think Yoli remembers about Digimon. Well, in this case, it's basically the same for Cody and Davis, but. Gotta leave Pacific because of the abort, the first Digimon movie. Well, it wasn't really the first, but 
are war games is what I mean. Well, she says she never had that happen to her, but she does remember seeing send a lot of messages when she saw the Boromar. So she did remember and she did know about the Boromar until why did take I guess with Well no, I can't really say that because Cody, Davis, and Yoli are all basically around the same age group as TK and Kari. So why did it take them this long to realize what Digimon were? It's my point, well, when they got their partners is what I mean. That's my point on this. Now, a little after that, Uh, TK remembers how he re knows, knows Digitalamon and says that Ty asked Digital, he used to be um, working for the Dark Digital Masters. One, he didn't work for the Dark Digital Masters, he worked for Miyazimon. And then he got mad at Matt for asking a discount. Two, that's not what happened. I didn't ask for a discount. Matt was calling him a phony and stuff like that. Now, after Dishitama showed that he had changed and got sent off, then this is basically when he got sent off uh, from the attack from Gorilla Mod and that. Uh, he got cut, turned by the Dark Spiral. Yoli was kind of a bitch to Digitomala. Even before all of this, she was still a bitch when Mimi tried to protect him from people fighting him. She is still thinking very hateful thoughts about him and was kind of a bitch in her head. But after she lets everything out, the Digi Egg of Sincerity appears for her and she gets her ultimate, which is Shurimon. Now, do I think she really deserved it? Uh, I love Yoli. Don't get me wrong, Yoli is a pretty neat character. But do I think she deserved it? No, I don't. Because she was a real bitch to Digitomamon the whole time when all he really was doing was his job and he even protected them to show that he had changed his ways. So, do I think she deserves it again? No, but I guess she kind of deserves it. I don't know. I, I just have mixed feelings because I do like Yoli. Yoli's probably one of my favorite characters of Zero Two, but at least she kind of learned a lesson, I guess. Anyways, I love y'all. Hope you have a wonderful day or night. Um, I am gonna try to. My next video is going to try to be with my V2 model, and it's also gonna be a movie uh, review. So. Love you all. Mwah.